Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Michael. Today I want to talk about song structure. Song structure is, is something that's very important to trailer music, but we don't always speak about it in a way that's easy for people who are new to understand. So I've got an example of a song here that I wrote a while ago. It didn't quite turn out the way I wanted. I was still learning a lot of, uh, a lot of elements of trailer music. So um, I didn't really put it out there into the world, but I think it's really useful for our exercise today. Um, so how we break up a song is generally obviously trends change things change but as a very basic way of looking at it we've got an act one two and three and you can see at the end i've got a little bit of it of i wrote ending you could be like an outro you could even put a part of your act three but for this the sake of this exercise uh, i've got a three act structure here um, so let's go through the song and then i'll talk about you know how we would write a, a first act a second act a third act and just kind of the mentality we go through um writing these different parts of the song um, so that hopefully you can learn something and, and improve yourself as a composer for uh, your songs. So let's, let's listen up here. Cool. So that's the full song. Uh, you can see I put in some pretty like big breaks in between just to break up the section so you have a better idea 
of, of when each act is starting. Obviously it's labeled here, but in terms of hearing it, you can, you can see it and hear it. Um, so where do we start from the beginning here? Act one, uh, your goal from the beginning is to start small. If I've learned anything, it's that you generally want to start small. Uh, and the goal is to just keep building and building as time goes on. Uh, and what do I mean by building? That could be um, by adding more melodies. It could be adding more instruments. It could be doubling things. Uh, so in general, you're trying to build. So what I've also got here is um, the wave, uh, uh, sorry, the MB3 of the, of the song. And you can see here, this is act one, very distinct, very distinct act two, act three, and then our little outro there. So if anyone was just, if you were to set, like generally, if you're submitting songs, you can send these to publishers um, and they'll get something like this, like a, like a Dropbox linked link. Um, they'll look at this and they'll, they might be like, oh, well, the gaps are kind of, you know, overblown here. But um, for the sake of the exercise, they would look at that and be like, well, at least the person has, before I've heard a single note, at least the person has a, a first, second, third act structure maybe they don't want that but you have already like you've demonstrated that you have a structure right so first first act second act third act and then a little of then uh the, the outro there so let's go back to the the song here so when i listen back to this it's been a while since i've heard it i thought on my first listen that right around here is actually where i would have ended it because the intro was maybe a little long um and you'll find yourself going through songs and you'll be like oh you'll, you'll go back and forth like oh maybe my first act is a little too long maybe my, my second act is too long one exercise that people I've learned about online like to do is they'll actually, instead of even starting from the beginning, like I usually just start with, you know, that little, that pulse that I start with, I start with that and then I'll build. Some people will start with the third act because they know in that act, it's like trying to get as big as possible. So if they just grab everything they've got and they start making this really cool ending to a song, they're like, well, I can take the song that I've got and I can start removing elements and go backwards. So they can start with the third act start removing elements from the second act to make it a second act and then start removing ele elements from the second act to make an intro and a first act. So, okay, we've got our first act, our second act and third act. What do I mean by growing? You can, if you look visually at all of the uh, different instruments, you can see the first act here, there's like the, the fewest instruments out of everything um, as we're going along the song. So you can see there's some pads, um, there's that synth intro and there's some like, um, some strings once we get to that second act that's when we're really starting to build and go towards something really great we're like really teasing as we're going along here that the third act is coming and it's going to be like intense um so you can see here all of a sudden we've got all these new instruments that are coming in so we're, we're building on top of what we already had um, you can see that the percussion has increased there's just more things playing um, even if they're doubling but there's just more of it so it's getting bigger and bigger. And then that third act is just undeniable. Like there's just so much more going on. Um, and we'll get into the third act here because I want to talk about that specifically at some point. Okay, so we got the first act. We're teasing a lot of the instruments we're going to use. We rise up with the, you know, you're using your risers, you're using your um, your wushits to kind of just tease everything. Boom, there's a break here. Oh, sorry. Uh, oops. Then we go to our second act. All of a sudden we're like, okay, things are starting to move. You can, if you were listening to the chords too, um, I wasn't using, I think I ended up using four chords in this song. Um, at the intro, I'm not giving it all away, if, if, if that makes sense. I'm using two of the four chords. So let's just, let's just listen here to the, um, the trombone area. I've got a, a group here. So you can see that it's repeating that over and over again. So we're not really giving away our full chord. So when we get to the point in the song, I think it's the third act, maybe it's in the second half of the second act, second act, we start to use the rest of the chords. Um, and it, it, it's like, oh, here we go. Now, now it's like all the stops are being dropped off here. So we've got everything going on. Uh, so you can see here, the second act. Duh. And then all of a sudden, once we get here, it's like a release. right so that's about halfway through the second act we started to build up and we're trying to get to the point where we get to the third act and we're like hey now everything's about to drop okay so let's go take a look at the third act so the third act is when we're trying to go as bonkers as possible but i think of the third act in in almost like a different way um the third act is broken up into two sections we've got everything going on here and then 
once we get to about halfway through, it's time to introduce kind of that. If you if you can think of it, it's like a line, like some instrument that's like really taking it home. It's like okay, in this in this instance, it's the trailer brass. So let's listen to the third act again, and then you, you can you can kind of hear what I'm talking about. So you can hear the ostinato. Four changes. The percussion's just going nuts. And right around here, you'll hear the uh, French horns come in, and you'll hear a big change in the percussion as well. Right, so that's where everything's going. Full blast. Um, the, the the percussion's going that. Da, 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 da. Uh, the trailer brass is doing. Um, da, 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 da. That's it's like it's really coming to uh, the highest point of the song, um, where you feel the most emotion. So now that we've gotten through the third act, where you know we're throwing everything we've got, all the instruments are going in there. Um, we get to the last little break here, and it depends on what kind of song you're writing, but you generally want some kind of outro. Um, ending where maybe you, you you go quiet for a second and then you come back with just as you're hitting everything as hard as you can um, and you want to leave the listener with a, it needs to feel different but it also feels like a continuation of the song and you go wow like that really ended the song for me um, and it wasn't repetitive that's and I, that's a, that's a word I should really bring up at this point in, in the in the video we're not trying to be repetitive like my intro you could maybe you can maybe argue that it became repetitive because it's a little too long but that's, you know, depends on what your your publisher wants, the editor wants. Um, we're trying to avoid repetition. You'll see every like eight bars, there'll be new instruments introduced. So the, the strings come in. Then we've got the, the French horns that come in. We're trying to build by adding um, or removing at, at, at certain instances. Um, but we're just trying to always have something new coming in over and over and over again. So let's listen to the just the, en the ending here. Repeating the line over and over again, and then once we get to that last final line, it'll feel like a release. Another kind of exaggerated uh, break, just so you can hear the difference. And you'll notice there the ending, like the very, very, very ending part, um, the last part of the song is basically the intro. Intro. Right? So already um, you've got, when you make your intro, you basically got maybe the very end of your song. So keep that in mind when you're writing. Um, it's like you, you bring it all up to the top and then back to the beginning of the song. So what, 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 what did we really try to achieve here with this three act structure? We're trying to achieve an intro, let people know what's going on in the song. Second act is not quite, I know it's silly to say, but it's like, it's not quite the first act. It's not quite the third act. You're introducing a lot of the elements that will be in the third act. Uh, you're just teasing a lot of the stuff uh, and you might be messing around with um, your, your chords. You might not be using all of them just yet, um, but you're trying to build the song uh, because obviously a movie trailer or a show, there are different elements in that trailer um, where you might not want it to be everything happening at once. It might be a little more somber air part of, this, of the trailer. Um, so you need to have that. Um, so around here, we're starting to build in the second, so like the second half of the second act. Then once we get to the third act, we're going nuts. We're throwing everything we've got. All the instruments are playing. Everything's doubled. There, there are different melodies. The strings are, you know, the higher octaves um, as well as the lower octaves. And then we have this second half of the third act where we're just rising up to, towards the end of the song. And that's where the French horns are coming in um, or whatever element you want to use to just really bring home um, the end of the song. And then we come back for a little outro. Um, that's not necessarily something you have to do, but I really wanted to talk about the, the, the three acts. And then the ending is just, you know, the note that you end on so that everyone goes, okay, the song's over. And it, it sounds musical. because obviously it's still a song. Um, and that gives, and this, these different acts give the editors places to um, cut. So you can be like, oh, let's use that. Because like sometimes you think about a, a trailer. 
the start of the trailer might be the actual intro or it might be the end of the song because it's very somber um and it's just the intro um it, it lines up well with like the, the start of a, of a of a trailer so if you have any questions let me know because i know that's kind of a lot to throw at you guys uh, but basically we got a first act it's it's somber it's it's building up second act it's like okay we're here now here here's all the instruments here t this is what this is the the vibe of the song uh third act is like throw everything you got kitchen sink and then a big bang at the end outro and a little bit of a, a fade away with the the do 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 right uh so yeah again if you have any questions let me know i hope this video was helpful and um i hope you have a great day see you soon bye now